SpaceX never fails to capture our imagination with its groundbreaking achievements, and they've done it again, coming up with something truly mind-blowing. As if the original Starship wasn't impressive enough, they've now unveiled Starship version 2, a testament to their relentless pursuit of innovation. Stay tuned for an in-depth look at what Starship version 2 brings to the table and how it could change the game in the space industry. Before we delve deeper, make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about the Starship's upcoming test launches. SpaceX ranks high as the best commercial space company in the world. Here, everyone is encouraged to fail fast and learn faster. In April 2023, the SpaceX Starship made its first integrated flight test that lasted 3 minutes and 57 seconds. Seven months later, the Starship was back in the sky with the second test flight lasting 8 minutes and 6 seconds. It is true that the second integrated flight test was such an improvement, where the flight time was doubled. But when you consider that the flight test is supposed to take 90 minutes, there is no doubt that SpaceX has a long way to go. Before SpaceX Starship hits those 90 minutes in space, great improvements and upgrades must be made. This is precisely where the SpaceX Starship version 2 comes in. It is bigger and more advanced, and hopefully it will give us better results. We will only get to appreciate the Starship version 2 after getting to know the original spacecraft, which is Starship version 1. If you are a space fan, you are well aware that the Starship system is made up of two stages, the Starship spacecraft and a Super Heavy rocket. Super Heavy or the booster is commonly known as the first stage of the Starship system. It is powered by 33 Raptor engines that run on liquid methane and liquid oxygen. On a typical launch flight test, the Super Heavy flies with the second stage to the space where it separates with the rest of the rocket. The booster finally re-enter Earth's atmosphere and lands back to the launch site. The second stage of the Starship system, which is simply the spacecraft, continues flying into space. After circling the Earth, the Starship spacecraft is meant to have a splashdown in places such as Port Hawaii in the Pacific Ocean. Since the Starship system is fully reusable, both the booster and the Starship spacecraft can be used in another mission or flight test. There is a lot of focus on Starship, since it is the world's most powerful launch vehicle ever developed with a height of 121 meters, and is capable of carrying up to 150 metric tons of payloads. Although the SpaceX Starship system is an engineering masterpiece, the SpaceX team of engineers believe that they can make it better. That is why they are upgrading the Starship version 1 to Starship version 2. As I have repeatedly said in this video, the SpaceX Starship will be bigger, better, and more powerful. In a tweet, Musk confirmed that the Starship will increase in size, saying, likely to be 10% to 20% longer in later versions. The Starship spacecraft is currently 50 meters long. If it increases by 20%, it will now be 60 meters long. The increase in length is a big win for SpaceX, as it makes it possible for the Starship to accommodate more fuel and payload. The SpaceX team is also keen to increase the propellant flow rate by upgrading the tank farm. This will be realized by replacing the custom vertical tanks with the horizontal tanks that can accommodate more propellant. The tanks are currently being delivered to the launch site, and there is some speculation that the tanks will be used for liquid nitrogen, liquid oxygen, or both. The upgrades in the tanks will ultimately reduce wastage and ensure a seamless, faster fill process. The SpaceX Starship version 2 will not just have more propellant, but will also be powered by more powerful engines than version 1. The version 2 will now feature next-generation Raptor 3 engines, which have a higher specific impulse than the Raptor 2 engines used in version 1. The Starship launches will be more successful since the new design of the Raptor engines generates 20% more thrust than the initial design. It is even more impressive that the Raptor 3 engines are more liable and will not require a heat shield. Apart from improving the design of the Raptor engines, the SpaceX engineering team will equally increase the number of those engines in the spacecraft. The version 2 spacecraft Starship will now be powered by 9 Raptor engines instead of the normal 6. In the end, you can only expect the Starship to be more powerful. Currently as things stand, SpaceX only makes one Raptor engine a day which often causes launch delays and makes the whole exercise inefficient. But there is some good news. SpaceX has plans to open a Star Factory production facility in Starbase, Texas that will be responsible for the production of the Raptor 3 engines and ultimately make the new version to Starship. 
the team at Starbase aims to pump out at least one 400-feet rocket per week. If that happens, we can expect to have one Starship flight test launcher mission per week. One of the most thrilling things about the Starship version 2 is that it can generate artificial gravity by spinning around its axis. Artificial gravity is a way to mimic the effects of gravity by using centrifugal force. This force pushes objects away from the center of rotation, creating a similar experience to being pulled downward by gravity. This can help mitigate the harmful effects of microgravity on the human body, like muscle and bone loss, fluid redistribution, and vision impairment. It is just impressive. But then the truth is that you might not see the Starship version 2 launched anytime soon. Here is why. Although Musk declared an end to the production of Starship version 1, when he said in a tweet, four more Starships, the last of version 1, it is only logical that version 2 launch will only be done after all the version 1 prototypes have been exhausted. What sets the third flight of SpaceX's Starship apart from the previous two is its ambitious objective, which is a crucial step towards enabling long-duration space missions, such as those to Mars. According to NASA, this test will involve the first attempt to transfer cryogenic propellant in orbit, a key technology for both lunar and interplanetary missions. SpaceX plans to conduct a tank-to-tank -tank transfer of liquid oxygen within the Starship itself during this flight. Although this test won't involve transferring propellant between two separate spacecraft, it represents a significant step towards developing the capability for in-space refueling. This technology is critical because cryogenic propellants, which are more efficient than other types, typically can't last for more than a few hours in space before they boil off. Extending the lifespan of these propellants and successfully transferring them between spacecraft in orbit is crucial for missions requiring long-duration space travel or landing on celestial bodies like the Moon or Mars. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.